Hello, Scorpio. Welcome back to There's That Tarot. Scorpio, the tower in reverse already? Okay, so what I was going to say, Scorpio, wow. Well, there's one thing you don't have to worry about anymore. A lot of you are looking for... Some of you could be looking for a new home already. Or some of you are realizing that you don't really have a place to call home. Even if you're somewhere that is considered to be home. It's like, it ain't quite that for you right now. Either you've been avoiding a truth or you're avoiding further disaster because you have a truth already. And it may be that it, it, this could concern your family in some way. There's something that you you can't pretend like everything's okay anymore. And it's time for you to unload whatever this is. I can't keep trying to reunite with you. Some of you might be dealing with Leo. Some of you... Your emotions may be telling you to go back or maybe you just haven't moved on you struggle with that part that part of you that wants to be grounded and move in a more stable direction and responsible in here is pulling you in a different direction and that conflict of interest going on inside of you, that tug of war, is messing with your sleep or your rest or your peace of mind. It's time to kind of chill for a second. You may need time away from like technology, people, like just everything, work, everything. Because right now there's more... You're looking at something. You're questioning someone. Are they questioning you? Somebody? You're wondering if somebody is... Uh, if they're worried about you anymore? Or if they've started something new, something don't feel right to you. It's like somebody got a new... <laughs> what did they say? Papa got a brand new bag. <laughs> somebody feeling themselves. Somebody got options. Somebody's been wondering if they should end this connection too. And you looking at them like, excuse me? I'm hearing go back for what I missed. Somebody could have could be exploring a missed opportunity, taking a chance. Or it could just be that they're taking a chance on themselves. Opportunities that they miss. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a romantic thing. What is this opportunity? You know what I think it is, Scorpio? This is someone... And this could be you, so take it how it resonates. Someone feels like I've been so much in the dark emotionally... I've felt some kind of way for God knows how long and it's caused nothing but grief and, you know, just that lack feeling inside of me. So I'm taking a chance on myself now. And if that means I'm not making this relationship a priority, then that's what that means. Because when I made this relationship a priority, you know, that didn't fare well for me. Something like that. So now it's about me. That's what this is about. Somebody done got their mojo back. And it's like, well, maybe I don't have time. <laughs> oh, boy. Somebody may have felt all over the place. And they had to kind of, like, stabilize themselves. And now there's someone that doesn't want it to end. Somebody feels like maybe they've lost control in the situation. Is that you, Scorpio? It's like 
I'm seeing this man or masculine energy and he's looking at this offer, this ring. Somebody could be engaged. And he's like, how do I make peace with this? Or do I decide to be... It's like, I wanted to make peace with this, but this person has decided that they want to move on. This person is still upset. This person's energy is still guarded. They don't want to see... They don't want to hear it. You did what you did, so now I'm focusing on me and I'm moving forward. This person is like, period, you know? So, someone seems to be attached to their, to the bad memories in this connection. And it's like, I said what I said. Meanwhile, the other person is like, well, I've been trying to work on this, but I don't see where we can get it back together. So maybe it's time for me to start over too and let go of this. This could be you, Scorpio. Scorpio. My faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. There's a lot of bad... It's like animosity. It's like a little bit of bad blood here between you and somebody. I am a human spirit having a human experience and getting closer to love. Nobody said the road to real love was pretty and free from all sin and mistakes and betrayal. <laughs> Nobody said it was free of that. How do you, you think people stay together for 50 and 70 years and there was never some like <laughs> I don't know like amazing tea <laughs> betrayal, disappointment death, lies deceit big or small sometimes it was big, sometimes it was small sometimes they communicated about it, sometimes they went and lived in two different houses about it <laughs> you know what I mean? You never know what it took for these people to stay together. But love. It's like, you gotta learn how to do that. Or something like that. I don't know. Scorpio. But if it ain't right, it ain't right. And then you gotta do what you gotta do. Somebody has a fear of committing to this right now. Not necessarily like a fear of committing to things, but to this. I've been juggling the idea whether to hold on, but when I'm honest with myself, I don't feel like I should rush into this or something like that. So I see a decision being made. What you need to do right now, Scorpio, is like I said, if, you're, if your faith is lacking right now, because it's your faith that has the, the, the power to heal the trauma, okay? Turn the conflict into growth, the fear into love. You're going to have to take some time out by yourself, Scorpio. I see a reunion that may happen. It could happen, but right now you're unhappy and you're struggling with the decision. So you got to get happy so you can make the best decision for yourself. And you're responsible for your happiness. Not them. You could be happy right now. You could be sad in five minutes. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean when, like, big things happen, you can just snap yourself back into being happy. But after a while, your brain's going to need a moment to relieve itself, okay, from whatever you're thinking about. And only you are in control of what you're thinking about. All right, love. Somebody is either paying attention to the red flags. Um, I hear after the fact, either they're looking for shit that's not there the masculine energy feels uncomfortable. The feminine has her eye on him. It's like, I never know what you got going on. Like, if you... If you cheated on somebody, sorry, oh, oh my God. It's not easy. 
Somebody just is very guarded. They are, they resent it. They're watchful of you. It could be a Leo or Pisces. They feel like they didn't go back. They didn't listen to themselves. They pretended like everything was okay. You didn't want a fire sign. They wanted... It's like I... It's almost like an entitlement. Like, I deserve this from you. But I think it burdened them. Somebody here was burdened. <laughs> Do I just, do I do this? Somebody has to work on forgiving themselves. Because I feel like somebody's ego was hit like severely by something in this connection. And, and, and it's like they're having they're the id right now. It's like, do I lean on love and forgiveness or do I lean on pride and ego? And the ego is winning right now. And that's why it's such a like the power struggle between the two of you. Because I feel like your energy is coming off a bit more reserved.